hello guys uh, welcome back so in previous session uh, we have seen how we can trigger the job to automatically after the job one is completed so that time we, we did not send any parameter to job two okay so now we are going to see how we can send some parameters from job one to the job two so whatever values of those parameters we can reuse in the job two directly okay so for that purpose uh, we required one plugin to install in our jenkins server that is parameterized trigger okay so let's go and uh, install this plugin first so go to the manage jenkins and go to the manage plugin section so i have already uh, downloaded and installed that plugin so that will be shown in the install tab so i have already uh, installed this plugin so in your case just go to the available tab and search that plugin okay so that will be shown here and just download and install after the restart okay so for demonstration purpose i have created this job one and job two so we need to make uh, both these jobs as parameterized job okay so currently if you see uh, i have not uh, given any parameters for this job one okay so just go to the configure option and you need to select this project is parameterized okay and uh, let us add one string parameter so this is my uh, parameter name job one parameter and this is the default value i am sending so once job one is completed we need to trigger the job two okay so for that purpose we have seen we need to use the post build action and in that this time we need to use this trigger parameterized build on other projects okay so it is going to trigger a parameterized build on other projects for job 2 okay so this option will be available only when uh, you install that parameterized trigger plugin okay so select that option so here you need to give the project name that you want to trigger so i need to trigger the job 2 right so i will select that job so when i need to trigger the job 2 okay trigger when build is stable okay that means when job 1 build is stable then only trigger the job 2 okay so you can select any one of this option as per your uh, requirement okay so i will select stable uh, this time and uh, from this drop down we have different parameters that we can send so we will see how we can send the current build parameters to the job 1 okay so whatever parameters that i have defined in the job 1 uh, those values for those parameters i will send to the job 2 okay and another option is predefined parameters okay so those parameters are not available in the job 1 that parameters values i am directly sent to the job 2 so let's see uh, with the examples so in the job 1 we have already uh, defined one uh, parameter right that is our uh, job 1 parameter so this value i am going to send to the job 2 so after job is completed i am going to trigger job 2 and i am going to send the current build parameter okay so you need to select that option current build parameters okay so whatever value for that parameter will be directly sent to the job 2 okay so this value will be sent to the job 2 okay click on apply so for verification purpose let me add one echo statement in the build so this echo statement will print the uh, job one parameter value in the console okay so just click on apply and save okay so we have created the relation between job one and job two okay so this is the job two downstream project for the job one so let me open job two in another tab so we need to make this job two also a parameterized project okay so select this option and select a string parameter okay so here you need to provide the same name as that parameter so we are going to get the value for the job one parameter right so we need to define that parameter in job two as well okay so only thing is uh, i am not defining any value for the job one parameter so value for the job one parameter will be uh, taken from the job one and for verification purpose let's add the echo statement in this project also click on apply and save okay so our both projects are parameterized projects now so if you click on build with parameter we have the job one parameter uh, defined for the job two only thing is we are going to get the value for this parameter from the job one so let's trigger this job one click on build so it will simply print the value for the parameter value for the job one is job one parameter value okay and here we can see triggering a new build for this job two so let's check the console so here you can see that we have successfully phased the job one parameter value from the job one okay that means whatever value we have sent from the job one it is uh, reused in the job two 
okay so let's try to trigger job one one more time build with parameter let's say in, i'm passing a b c d click on build okay this is the a b c d so this value again send to the job two okay a b c d okay so it is working fine so we have used whatever current build parameters whatever parameters you have defined in the job one directly in the job two okay so now we will see how we can send the parameters which are predefined parameters so for that purpose again go to the job one go to post build actions and this time from this drop down you need to select predefined parameters similar to the properties file you need to send the entries like this key and its value okay so let's say this is my key reusable parameter and its value i am going to send and this is the value we are going to send so click on apply and save okay so let's go to the job two again you need to define that string parameter right so i will go here add parameter and go to the string parameter okay so this is our key name right so i will copy this name this is our parameter name in the job two that value we will get from the job one okay so directly click on apply and let's try to print that value as well for verification so reusable parameter value from job one and the value for that reusable parameter will be displayed here okay so click on apply and save so let's try to trigger the job one now so i will click on build job one has completed let's check the job two now so here you can see for both the parameters we got the value so this parameter uh, job one parameter value we have hard coded and that parameter is defined in the job one but this second parameter reusable parameter we have not defined in the job one it is only a part of job two only value for that parameter we are sending from the job one so let's uh, quickly see one more example so i have this create build and deploy build projects so in the create build i will create the build for my project and in the deploy build i will deploy uh, that build on some server okay so in the create build i am going to send the whatever build number okay let us build number to the deploy build project okay so i will go to the configure so i will make this project at parameterize again one parameter string parameter i will give so this is one parameter create build parameter and it is value that we are going to send to the deploy build okay from the create build project and from the post build action again we are going to trigger parameterize build on other projects so this is the project deploy build so when create build is stable then only this deploy build will be triggered and to the deploy build we are going to send the two parameters okay so select predefined parameters so first parameter is my create build parameter okay so how we can give the uh, current project uh, parameter value from the predefined value here you need to use the dollar symbol and two curly brackets okay and here you need to provide the parameter name here okay dollar curly bracket and its parameter name so this value will be given to the deploy build project and another uh, value i want to send is my build number okay so build number for this create build that number will be given to the deploy build project so its value will be let's say dollar two curly bracket and in the bracket you need to provide this parameter build underscore number so these two parameters we need to define for our uh, deploy build projects so go to the deploy build first go to the configure so first string parameter is our create build parameter okay its value will be taken from our first project and another parameter is build number to deploy okay so what build number you need to deploy on the server and this is our server uh, parameter that which server you want to deploy your current build okay so for verification purpose let me add the echo statement so these are the three echo statements so we need to trigger this create build now so that will automatically trigger the deploy build if it is stable so while building this create build i will give some value here okay let's say abcd click on build okay so it is completed 
so it has triggered the new build for this deploy build okay so it is important let's try to check the console okay so you can see here create build parameter value is abcd okay so that value we have sent from the create build so let me check why we did not get the build number and the server value here so we must have done some small mistake here and this is our build number to deploy okay so we need to change its name now okay so this is the value we are getting from the create build right so same name you need to provide to the uh, parameter in the deploy build and for the server we need to make one server by default okay so i will make let's say give a server by default click on apply and save okay so let's try to create the build for create build again go to the deploy build second build completed so we got the abcd1234 and this is the latest build from create build project okay so this time we got this two okay so this is the build we need to deploy on the qa server so this is how you can send the current build parameters and uh, predefined parameters from job one to job two automatically okay so let me know uh, if you have any question on this thank you